Just next door to the lock cottage, Joe Lasky and Josh are planting some silver birch trees. Uh, uh, there, that should do the trick. Mm. They only little know, but one day grow into big, beautiful trees. You are lucky, Ravi. I wish I could see trees from my house. Morning, Fiona. I've been thinking. I got other silver birch trees, what you can have. All you got to do is dig holes for plant them. Wouldn't that be good? Hey, your dad would perhaps do that. <laughs> be a miracle if he did. There you are, sure. What do you think? <laughs> oh, no, 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 Spanner. You see, what I really want it's some proper sunsheds, like what they have in them cafes in France. Oh, well, them sort of things cost money. And I'm dead broke. Good for nothing layabout. Never where he should be. Oh, bloody number. Here comes trouble. The new filing cabinets have arrived for the wharf office. Why haven't you cleared that old desk out like I asked you? I was just getting my strength on, Mr. Gasmore. Oh, he's a proper little slave driver. No, 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 not like that, you half twit. Hey? Lift it, man, lift it. Right. Uh... Yes. Oh, yes, Mr. Bickett. Uh, what do you want me to do with it now, Mr. Cashmore? Of course, Mr. Bickett. Yes, I'll. Ooh. Chop it up. Burn it. Whatever you usually do with old rubbish. But first, I want these taking it inside. What? All of them? Ooh, I'll need another sarny. Bow line, Ravi. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> Lashings of mayonnaise. Mm. Look, it's action, man. Morning, Spanner. <laughs> What's this? Got the boss's job? The boss? What? Where? What do you mean? You, sitting behind a desk. Oh, uh, yeah. No. Cashmore's throwing it out. What? A fine old desk like this? Hey, now I wonder if... <sighs> Yes. Hey, that's brilliant. Have a look inside. I once found a gold sovereign in one of these hidey holes. Really? Let me look. No, no, I don't think... Hang on a minute, Josh. What you got? Feels like paper or something. Hey, it's like a map. July 7th, 1864. Silver something bridge. Come on, let's have a look. Silver bird. Hey, everybody! <laughs> look what I brought you. Chocolate cake. Silver mm. buried. Buried silver. Look what you got there, treasure. That's it. Treasure. It's a treasure map. What? See, there's a sort of diagram. Bookby Bridge? That's the bridge by my cat. Yeah, 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 you're right. Come on. We're going to be rich. You can have hundreds of sunshades for the cafe. Oh, Spanner! Oh, you are wonderful. Come on, Josh. Spanner's taken the map. Oh, don't need it yet, Ravi. Real treasure hunters always start by doing some detective work. Oh, I'm getting all excited. Uh, you dig here, Sha. Yes, love. And I'll start... Over there. Now, you must always check your atmospherics before you dig your archaeologicals. How deep do I have to go? 
just till you find the treasure. You've got some lovely flowers in your garden, Mrs. Carrier. Oh, that's where they came from. Now, we must remember to change the water. That way, they'll last longer. Look, it's Josh and Ravi! Hi, Mum. I'm being a detective. We're going to Bapu to look for clues. <laughs> not being a nuisance, is it, Josh? No, not at all. Oh, Jones, has Spanner finished shifting those cabinets yet? Uh, yes, Mr Cashmore. Uh, I, th I think no. he has. Spanner's at the cafe. He's what? Right, that's it. Wait till I get hold of him. I'll wring his neck. Oh. I think I found something. Yes, it's an old pilchard tin. Oh, Spanner. I haven't found one bit of treasure yet. Just keep digging. Go on, try somewhere else. Where? I don't know. The map doesn't say exactly where. I've just about had enough of that spanner dodging off. Spanner? What the devil's going on? Oh, uh, we just... Uh... What's that? What? Behind your back. It's not a treasure map, if that's what you're thinking. No! <laughs> So what? Let's have a look. Silver? Eleven tons? Give me that spade! Eight to sixty-two. No, that's not the one. Well, I'm scuppered, Joshim. It should be here. These are all the canal records going back to 1832. <sighs> hey, what about these, Bapu? Oh, no. Gardening magazines. Oh. Well, I've got to get back to work, Admiral. Ah. So if we don't find it soon... Hang on, Josh. I think I've found something. Is this it? Hmm? It was propping up your table. Ah. Clearwater Canal Accident Reports. 1863-67. Hey, let's have a look. Uh, 63... 1864. Ah, here we are. Yes? Yes, just what I thought. Well done, Ravi. Ten out of ten for detective work. No treasure? What do you mean? Look, it says here, Buckby Bridge, 11 tonnes silver. Yeah, silver buried. <laughs> no, Spanner. Not silver buried. Silver bird. That was the name of a narrowboat. It was carrying 11 tonnes of flint and it sank near Buckby Bridge. You mean... <coughs> you mean... You idiot. Idiot! I suppose uh, I'd better start filling in. Hang on a touch, Spanner. I think I know what we could do with all these holes. Eh, Fiona? Oh, yeah! Uh, there. Now you'll see trees from your house, Fiona. Silver birches. Huh. So we got our silver after all. <laughs> Thank you, Mr Lasky. Better than umbrellas. Sharon's cap will look just like them in France. <laughs> Bonjour, everybody. <laughs> oh, sure. Ooh la la. Would Monsieurs care for a glass of vino? Bottoms up. Some people live in the country Some people live in the city or town Some people live at the top of the tower But some people live much nearer the ground The Joshua 